doesn't want to say words anymore. Guys, I'm off centre by the way because the dog is in the room with me and will not leave. <laughs> Look at him. It's just there, chilling. He won't move from there. That's where he lives now. Have I introduced myself yet? <laughs> what have I done? Hello, my name is Star, I'm a content creator on TikTok and at the time of filming this I've got 755,000 followers, I think. I haven't actually checked. That's nuts. I just want to say thank you very much if you're one of those followers. If you're not, go and follow me. Socials are down there, bruv. Why well, haven't you done it already? Yeah. I'm in a bit of a manic mood today. I don't know yeah. Anyway, today's video is I am doing an I saw it first try on haul. I bought all these clothes by myself. By myself? I bought all these clothes off my own back. These haven't been gifted, although I have been given a discount code. The discount code is STAR55, by the way. The reason why I'm doing this is there is a couple of pair of jeans that I bought from I Saw It First that are the yeah. best selling thing for me, by far, on an affiliate link. Whenever I wear them, you lot go friggin' nuts for them, so I thought, let's do a try on them. Yep. Did a bit of spit, just... What was that, spit bubble? So I'm doing a summer to autumn winter try on haul. I say that because I love my bright colours. She says here wearing all black. <laughs> so I wanted to include a lot of bright colours that I can bring from summer to autumn. Who do I think I am by the way? I literally wear tracksuits all the time. So if you're watching this, I'm no expert bruv. I could try all these on and hate all of them. I mean it's happened before. Did you see the Molly Mae one I did recently? <laughs> Videos up there bruv. Did you see that link through? I'm a professional YouTube man. Anyway, so this is gonna be a very honest try on haul. So yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Please note I'm a size 14 at the time of filming this. Right, let's have it. We're going for outfit number one. Right, we've got outfit number one. Whether or not this is autumn winter is up for discussion. It's definitely the right amount of clothes, but the colour of the clothes contradicts it. But I have to say, right, it's all about the I saw it first jeans. Girls, if, if you are mid-size, I'm not being funny yet, I never would have purchased from I saw it first before. I went to an event of theirs and they gave me a pair of jeans that I ordered off the site. Prior to that, I'd never ordered with them and I swear down they came, I put them on and was like, what the frig? All of their jeans so far that I've tried on, ever, have been bang on for me and my size. Like, I've got quite a big like pooch, like the Tom pooch. They're so comfortable, they feel really lightweight. These ones are true to size, so the ones I had previously, they're a bit big size wise, but these are a size 14 and they fit me perfectly. I just had a ham sandwich. Ham sandwich? Ham sandwich? That is currently in my pooch. And I don't feel uncomfortable in these jeans. Friggin' hell, I've been talking about it for too long. Uh, then we've got this bodysuit, it's double layer, and this will, this is gonna get kept. Have I lost the ability to use vocabulary? Green's my favourite colour, double layer bodysuit, this is getting kept. Quality is there, haps. This blazer is where we're at a bit of a loss here. It's alright, I don't mind it. I don't know whether I'll keep- Did anybody see that Zara outfit that literally everyone and their dog got that was blue and green? I'll put a picture of it here if I can find it. Um, that's why I got the blue with the green. I thought I'm gonna try and do a Zara if I saw it first. It's not gone too badly. Anyway, I'll show you what I look like here. I am, I am a fan of this look. I think what I would do is I would end up taking a picture in this outfit and then changing the blazer for a leather jacket. That's what I see. Like I hate to be that girl, but I am that girl. Why are you judging me? Stop judging me right now. Please stay for the rest of the video. <laughs> anyway, next. Outfit number two, and I'm actually bare surprised that I like this. I bought this thinking that I would love the shape of the dress, but I would hate this bad boy cutout because this is where the pooch of the fat that I've stored over the pandemic has like congregated. And so I thought I'd be really self-conscious of it, but because of the shape of it, I actually don't think you can tell. This, I'll show you what it looks like here, because obviously it's a long dress, so you can't see the whole thing. This is like bang on perfect summer to winter outfit. I will say it's definitely too big. That's the one thing I say about I saw it first. Usually everything is a size too big. I'm quite a little house on the prairie though. I look like I would bake you a good loaf of bread. Do you know what I mean? A nice tiger bread. Sourdough. Ta da! Oh, isn't tiger bread like the best smelling bread? 
Overall, I'm loving this. I think I might keep it. Look how much room for activities. It's very comfortable. I would also, I don't know about you, but I struggle with like major chafe syndrome. So I would, I wear cycling shorts under every skirt that I wear that's long enough to wear them under. And cycling shorts would go perfect under this. Good job, I see. <laughs> Oh god, that's really passionate, I think. Um, the next one is the one I'm unsure about. Let's have it. Right. This is one of those outfits that I think look nice right now, and then I'm gonna watch this back and be like, what are you wearing, bruv? I mean, I do look like a Haribo squashy. <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> it's very Zara two months ago. By the way, I bought all these styles. You know when we had like three days of summer? in September, at the beginning of September. I bought it during that time, so I was still like pure in the mood to wear like summer colored clothing. And I do wear bright colors all year round. Um, so I don't, I don't know whether or not you can call this autumn, but I would quite happily wear this outfit. I mean, the comfort level is a, an 11 out of 10. This is what I look like here. I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite outfits. When I first put it on, I was like, what are you wearing, bruv? And I'm sure you might have that inkling as well. But I love it. Right, hold the phone. I actually think I've done a good job here. Yeah, it's a bit more summer than it is on winter. But it's like one of those outfits that you can just copy in different colours. So like, didn't fancy the orange, just get a different colour. Same as the bottoms. It, the recipe is there. The ingredients might change. Oh my god, that analogy was so good. Let's see what's coming next. Right, outfit number five. I'm actually not sure about this. I think as a jumper, it looks all right, but I feel like I'm usually into a tie waist, but this tie waist isn't big enough, like thick enough for it to be a tie waist on me. And I think that's because of the pooch. Right, this is what it looks like without the little tie on. Where is the tie? Chill around here. Which I actually think is better than with the tie. Because I've got big boobs, right? I usually look like a tent, like a six birth tent. Done! Wow. When I'm wearing things that aren't like fitted in the middle, I'm actually wearing, I'll show you what I look like here as well. These um, boots are also, I saw it first. I'm a bit disappointed in them because you know those boots that are made to be like super wide around your calf? They just fit my calf because I've got fat calves. So you need to make even wider ones for the girls with the fat calves, bruv. Will I keep this? It does look nice, but I think I would wear it with different shoes because the shoes are making me quite insecure. That's the truth. Anyway, we've got three more outfits left. Let's have it. Fam, these are not outdoor clothes. These are pajamas. I know there's that trend at the moment that's like wearing pajamas outside, like every brand has got them, but these are pajamas. Like I'm wearing them with flip flops right now because th there is there is no other shoes that I can wear them with. Don't get me wrong, as a pair of pajamas, these are probably all right. Granted, I'm actually wearing a size 12 because the size 14 had sold out and I think I would size up definitely in the shirt anyway. I think the trousers are all right, but I just can't think of a function that this would be suited for other than maybe like going around your mum's. Going around your mum's for like supper, not even like dinner or tea. But this is, this is a sleepover outfit. I'll show you what I look like here anyway. It doesn't look bad, but like I don't understand anyone who's wearing this outdoors on a normal day. I'd wear the shirt with a pair of jeans. I might even wear the trousers with like a, a black crop top on the beach or something. But like, as a full outfit, man's looks tired. Actually, the pooch is definitely more on show and like obvious. All the other outfits, it's not been that obvious, but this one I feel like it's reclaiming its title as the first thing you look at on my body. Do you know what I mean? Will I keep it? Probably not. Um, I don't wear pajamas to bed or a t-shirt. I wear nothing. <laughs> I'm saucy. Me trying to do a sexy song and that come out. Wow. I do think, like everything else that I've worn so far, you'd actually be able to mix and match like everything. But as an entire outfit, it's a no. Stop with the pajama trend, fam. Next. <laughs> Can I just say, this is one of the most comfortable things that I've ever put on my body. It is so soft and it clings, but like 
feels really breathable. I'm sorry, I'm just instantly shocked at this because I never wear knit dresses. I never wear bodycon dresses anymore either. Like, man's is 31, I've put on like four stone in lockdown. That's not an exaggeration, by the way. I think I've put on four stone. And so I would never usually wear something like this. Right, let me show you what I look like here. It's not even so much about how I look. Like, I actually don't mind how I look in this. I'm still very aware that I do have like my excess fat pooch, but I sort of don't mind. Yeah, it, it just feels bare good. I need some like big, I need some like gold jewelry. It's actually quite a lot longer. Like I've been ruching it, it actually goes to that length. But being quite sure, I prefer to ruch it. But yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised at this, you know. I don't even have anything funny to say. Um, will I keep it? I actually really like it. <laughs> Next. Final one. Hello and welcome to the most star outfit of all time. I actually feel it instantly makes a difference when you put on an outfit that you're happy with and like feels like you. Like my mood is already elevated. Celebrate good time. No, like I'm ready to go out now. I'm ready to go out to a restaurant, eat a pizza and then go to a dive bar. Do you know what I mean? And you're having one of these. This gets wrapped around your waist and you're having just the best night. Right, so first and foremost, these are the jeans. These are the original jeans, just in a darker colour. Everyone that asks me about them buys them and then messages me saying they're the best jeans ever. I even left a pair at my mum's house last time I was down, forgot about them, she found them and has been wearing them ever since and has since bought two more pairs. I have four pairs of these jeans. Let me stress to the girls with the thick thighs and who are the mid-size, you need to buy balloon jeans. Look how much space there is and they like taper at the end so that that's why they're called balloon jeans, look at that. Also, size down, these are a size 12. And I've got it up two belt loops at the moment, but they're a bit big. I'll show you. See what I mean? They're a little bit big, but I like it like that. More room for activities. The rest of the outfit, the one bad thing I would say is this zebra top. So I'm a size 14. I bought it in a size 14 and it just gets over my boobs. Like if I wasn't wearing a bra right now and I was like bouncing around, you'd be able to get under boob. So that I'm a bit disappointed in. The shirt is a bit of me and is getting kept. I've got nothing else to say on it. Like, this is what I look like. I'm super happy with it. If you think otherwise, you're wrong. So, overall, I think this was a really successful haul, considering the last one I did. So I bought all of this. So this was an honest try on. If I didn't like any of these things, I would've been like, that's friggin' awful. All of them were actually good. There were some things that I'm definitely sending back, one reason or another, as in the PJs. But overall, I think this was really successful. But anyway, my camera's on low battery. So, hope you've enjoyed the video. Please watch my other ones if you haven't already. Subscribe. Like and share, give me a comment. That's it. Peace.